Welcome back from Graphic Extras. In this tutorial, I'm just going to quickly show you how to save vector data to an AI file, as well as PSD and a few other ones, to be able to use the vector information, and in particular, Photoshop shapes in other applications. Now, I've got a Photoshop shape here. Uh, this one is from Graphic Extras, one of these ones. It's uh, part of a 13,000 custom shapes collection from Graphic Extras. Uh, there's also uh, thousands of other shapes available. And I've applied the custom shape. There's the shape tool. There's the actual shape option. That's the one you want. It creates it as a vector design. And now there's a few options. One of the options is export pass to Illustrator. Shape one, shape path. OK. And I'm just going to save it. I've already done it as a quick test run to make certain all these save to it a few times so you know what happens tutorial it doesn't work but uh, anyway so that's one way of doing it of course one thing I've never understood why the export isn't really in the save as it's one of the only ones for some weird reason Photoshop doesn't have savers AI file it's got EBS it's got Photoshop PDF now that saves the vector format got it there saved it also Photoshop EPS again save that I can save that as EPS save it there and you can just save includes vector data that's a key thing okay and file save as and I'm left to look for it now Photoshop PSD and again that saves the vector data to a oh, PST file which can be opened in Illustrator. Maybe not every application can open every one of those type of files but at least there's a fair selection of files that you can certainly try and use with other ones. I mean I found problems with the AI file. Sometimes some applications just can't open the AI file even though it says it supports AI. So no idea why. Anyway once that's been done now I'll go over to Illustrator and within Illustrator I can go open and of course I can select all those file formats in particular I'll just select that one comes up and there's the AI vector data open um, select the AI one open and the weird thing with the AI one it doesn't actually show the fill or stroke, doesn't save that information. So you obviously have to just have to apply that just normally to select. Right, of course, there is another way of doing it. Just going to go to Photoshop and I can, I'll just select a different shape. And that shape there. Control C. Copy. Compound. Okay, and there again, you've got the shape, which of course you can now fill and manipulate in Illustrator. Of course, once you've done that, you can copy it back into Photoshop. Of course, you can save it to a raster format, etc. And it can be used in other applications. So that's a quick way of using vector format, vector custom shapes in other applications. Hope you found this tutorial of interest and that you'll subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Always uh, great to do that. Uh, there's also many new tutorials coming over the next couple of days and uh, thank you much.